Time now for a look at the other stories making headlines today. Canada is calling for efforts towards a, quote, sustainable ceasefire in the Israel-Hamas war. The government issued the statement earlier today with Australia and New Zealand. Prime Minister Justin Trudeau says he outlined Canada's position to the Israeli Prime Minister Benjamin Netanyahu. We are committed to working uh, with partners in the region and around the world towards an enduring two-state solution. Canada is committed to ensuring that Israelis and Palestinians get to live in peace and security within internationally recognized borders uh, in peaceful and successful uh, states. Meanwhile, the UN General Assembly voted to demand a ceasefire, which Canada supported. It comes after the United States vetoed a similar resolution last week at the UN Security Council. Now, while Security Council resolutions are legally binding, the General Assemblies are not. The NDP wants House of Commons Speaker Greg Fergus to be disciplined, punished for recording a video tribute in his speaker's robes in the House to the former interim Ontario Liberal leader John Fraser. Now, the party is not calling for him to resign, but says it will table a non-confidence motion if it happens again. So what we're saying to the speaker by taking these tough disciplinary measures is this is not to happen again. And if it does happen, we have the ability to to table and to move on a substantive motion and we certainly and we certainly will be doing that if if this ever happens again Julian adds he wants to see clearer rules on partisan activity in the speaker's briefing packages a house committee studying the issue is expected to report back by Thursday the conservatives and the bloc quebecois for the record have called for Fergus to resign and finally tonight, Ottawa is launching consultations for a standardized housing design catalogue with the goal of speeding up the construction and delivery of homes. Housing Minister Sean Fraser says it's an idea hearkening back to Canada's past. We are living in a housing crisis, but it's not the first time Canada's been here. Uh, after the Second World War, when many thousands of soldiers were returning home to be reunited with their families at once, uh, Canada faced enormous housing crunches. Uh, one of the tools that was deployed at the time to respond uh, to the challenges they faced at, at that particular point in time was the development of simple pre-approved designs. Consultations are expected to start next month and Fraser says he hopes to have the catalogue ready for builders by next fall.